And then this would imply she was only giving birth to women children. But we say how and why? Well, they have such a thing called Parthenos Genesis. And this right here is what they call an ovarian tumor or an ovarian cyst. And what you'll find, Lori baby, what you'll find, higher, higher. These so-called tumors develop skulls. Remember, uh, when we say ovarian, first of all, we gotta look at the word, ovate, which is egg cell. Egg cell. You know the egg cell that gets fertilized by sperm. We find that if women keep these ovarian tumors for a long period of time, they develop into skulls, they wind up having teeth, they wind up growing hair, they wind up growing feet, and what they do is abort your tumor. Anybody understand what I'm saying when I say they abort your tumor? These are women who haven't been having sex. These are women that's in menopause. They get it the most amongst everyone else. They cut out the cancer. They cut out the so-called cancer. And look how these cancer cells develop into children. And they rip them out and tell you it's a tumor. Imagine if you had a tumor ripped out of you that had a whole head, had feet, had teeth, and had hair. And you say, I'm not even having sex. You see, the biggest secret is that our women are gods. And guess what? We're coming into a time, we're coming into a paradigm shift. So we're coming into a day and time where everything that was will be again. And those of us that want to refute the feminine energy, we're going to be destroyed in the process by virtue of our ignorance. This is a reality. Go ahead, baby. Where we at with it? We'll be at it. Okay. Peace, brother. <laughs> yes. So now let's go on to Jesus' breastfed. Question. This is the biggest question. We have to zoom this in or something. Oh, man. You know what? Give me the, the picture of the sister. Give me the picture of the sister. We need this information. I don't know why it's so difficult to understand the divinity of our women. How many of you ever heard of Henrietta Lex? Just two of us. That's good. Today, that means somebody definitely gonna learn something. They ain't learn nothing else. Henrietta Lex, you can pull up that data, that data. Do you know that this woman has over five billion cells alive today? You know how heavy five billion cells are? She's not obese, she dead actually. They still got over five billion of her cells to this very day. A black woman named Henrietta Lacks. Why is that? Because they use the blood to cure diseases. So they've been cloning her cells from the day she's alive to now. And she's not the first black person, and particularly black woman, that they've been using as a guinea pig. They still grow her cells years after she died to cure diseases that black people are subjected to and saying there's no cure for. Henrietta Lacks. So it's good only two people knew about her. Cause you know they're not gonna teach us about her. Cause we gotta try to find the Caucasians in our communities that we can rely on their blood for. No, they're the hemophiliacs, love of blood. They're the vampires. They take the blood, we produce the blood. Breast milk banks, what are the breast milk banks filled up? Black women's milk. You don't see them pushing the strollers for these Jew babies? Yeah. They hate you, right? Mm -hmm. But you good enough to raise their children? That don't make no sense. Mm -hmm. That don't make no sense. Mm -hmm. So let's look at Henrietta Lacks. Her name was Henrietta Lacks, but scientists know her as Gila. She was a poor southern tobacco farmer who worked the same land as her slave ancestors. Yet her cells taken without her knowledge became one of the most important tools in medicine. The first immortal human cells grown in culture, they are still alive today. They said immortal. And we tell you the black woman is God and y'all getting upset at us. But even the white man confesses to your divinity. Why are we fighting against it? Don't make no sense. They call ourselves the first immortal human cells grown in culture. They are still alive today though she has been dead for more than 60 years. If you compile all the healer cells ever grown onto a scale, they weigh over 50 million metric tons. 
as much as a hundred Empire State Buildings. They call ourselves the first immortal human cells grown in culture. They are still alive today, though she has been dead for more than 60 years. If you compile all the HeLa cells ever grown onto a scale, they weigh over 50 million metric tons. As much as a hundred Empire State Buildings. Do you hear that? They kept this woman's cells alive and grew them to the point it weighs over a hundred Empire State Buildings. Hella cells were vital for developing the polio vaccine, uncovered secrets of cancer, viruses, and the effects of the atomic bomb. Helped lead to important advances like in vitro fertilization, cloning, and gene mapping, and hair have been bought and sold by for millions of dollars. They've been selling this black woman's blood for millions of dollars. She's not the only one. You might be a victim. Because you go in the hospital and say, you got a headache. Okay, let's take some blood. You say, my stomach hurt. Let's take some blood. And they give you Benadryl on the way out. Yes. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> they got 14 new vaccines for the baby. She come out. By the time your child in third grade, your child would have had over nine, 95 vaccines. If you got an itch in your butt, they'll take your blood. <laughs> <laughs> they don't play. These are the real vampires. Oh, man, don't even ask for your place in them. What you gonna do with that? You gonna eat it? <laughs> yeah. It's like a cardinal sin if a black woman want to keep her place in her. Don't let the man be conscious and the woman not conscious. While you talking, they just ignore you be talking to her all day. Yeah. Yeah. And the foreskin, remember the Atlanta child murders? That's right. The foreskin, they just getting the melanin to make the interferon drug. That's like a million dollars. We, we, better, we better start understanding. You better keep the before birth, the during birth, and the after birth. In fact, don't even go to your hospitals. I told her, I said, you better go to your hospitals. Yo, it's real. Stop going to their hospitals. Yo, we be saying the white man's the devil, and the second you're white pregnant, you send the woman there, your wife, right, to be touched up by this pale beast to deliver your child. We say the white man's the devil, and we the first ones sending our children to school to be the subjects of his educational system. So I told people this year, I don't want to hear that white man's the devil shit till I start seeing change. My children homeschool, 12. Well, they changed um, birthdays recently, 13 and 14, and they're off this. Their books is right up there. Outline of Alkaline Cookbook, and in my father's house, there are many mansions, a book on solar numerology. They're 12 and 13 years old. My four-year-old girl right here speaks four languages. I know a lot of y'all saw the YouTube clips. But guess what? She never been vaccinated. That's right. That's right. You know how Negroes mess with your mind? Everybody says, yo, your baby looks so healthy. I go to my father, the baby looks so healthy. She looks strong. Look at that glow on her skin. Then he said, what's she eating? I said, she ain't eating nothing the first three years of her life. What? Look how bony she's looking. She's looking frail. Her hair looking crazy. <laughs> yeah, she's not eating chicken. I say, yo, look at this amaranth and phone yo. That look like bird feed. What is that? I'm like, yo, it, it definitely do, but it tastes good. It's good, it's good. But she ain't never been sick. That's right. For four years. That's right. Speak four languages. Yeah, I'm real jealous of the red number 40 children running into walls on purpose. Very jealous. Very jealous. It's to the point we got we if we let our children go to the go to these corner stores, it's to the point you might as well let them wear a helmet everywhere they go from the time they leave the house. Cause they will run into some shit on purpose. They'll take a running start too. They won't take a short run either. Red number 40 really distorts your perception. And it's in all these candies and foods called the convenience stores, conveniently there before they have to take a test. Break you down mentally. Henrietta Lacks, I'm telling you, it's great that y'all found out about her. Take her name down, look it up. This is your story. She's still alive. And her family found out they cloned her. And they found a lawsuit. And guess what? She's not the only one. Look, giving birth in the hospital just went down about 50 years ago. Everybody was doing it in the house. 50 years ago, everybody was giving birth in the house. This is new. You know how they cheat you up? You'll go, your wife will be pregnant. You know what they do? They come out with these bags and roll in these carts. Hurry up, hurry up. She's just 
Let's induce the labor. Hold on. Get the needles. You be saying, damn, I ain't have the rolling cart. I ain't had the bags in my house. Good thing I showed up today. They put on a show. They put on a show. Then they make the sister give birth laying down. Would you take a shit laying down? Imagine how difficult that would be. You go against gravity. And then you wonder why so many of our women are suffering from paralysis. You going against gravity. So you say squat. You know the baby might hit their head. If we, she doesn't squat, the baby might not come out. Well, what about that shit? That's right. Yeah, that's even worse. <laughs> you know what I'm it's crazy how they got us thinking. But you see, once they start that ritual, right? Because Rite Aid is what? Right R I T is ritual. Yeah. Pharmacy in Greek is what? Sorcery. Sorcery, sorcery yeah. Yes. So they work in sorcery on us and rituals yeah. in the name of giving birth. Yeah. Then what match what they do in the place center. You can't just be a teacher no more. You have to be a teacher slash warrior. You can't just be bright and brilliant so don't push you down. Yeah. We got to be able to be strong, show our vigor, and speak with conviction about the things that we know is true. So the children can be impressed and say, you know what, I need to take this as serious as my parents. Don't, let, don't keep allowing them to write your story. Don't keep allowing them to write your story. Because if you, if you wait for them to tell you how brilliant we are, you'll never know. So tomorrow we're going to go into... Was Jesus breastfed? The second part. Well, there's no, you know. How many, how many of you gave birth to children? Obviously, be asking out the men. I hope. <laughs> okay, there you go. Is it true, right? Because people be saying I'm BSing, but I got the information in my book. When a woman gives birth to a child, there's an electrical current, electrical current that leaves her nipples, discharges from her nipples and shocks the child. Therefore, when the milk is ready, the child wakes up simultaneously. If you had a child and you breastfed, how many of you bear witness to the milk when the milk is done in your teeth, when your mammary glands are ready to secrete the milk? How many of you realize when the milk is ready in your chest that the baby coincidentally woke up at the same time? Yes. It seemed like the baby just had your breast synchronized. <laughs> What does, does the man nipple send an electrical current when he got beef with somebody? Does it zap Simon and say, nigga, I don't like you? What does the man nipples do? Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Love's good. <laughs> so I'm not trying to denounce man. I'm saying there's a lot of things about our women that we need to investigate and explore. Because once you investigate and explore who and what the woman is, you, you tend to have a more profound perspective of who she is, and you tend to be in a state of worship, and there's nothing wrong with she worship you back. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying it's gotten to the point it's as though we're all homosexuals but want a woman at the same time. When you disrespect women, it's as though you don't want a woman. It doesn't make sense. If you explore the magnificence and the glory of the black woman, you will submit to her. And you acknowledge her for the great woman and gender and being that she is. But first you gotta do the knowledge. Once you do the knowledge, then you got reason to respect her. So you can't just tell people no more respect black women. Give them the knowledge on who and what the black woman is so by default they can bear witness. Now if they don't, we know we dealing with someone retarded. Cause you can't get this information and still treat her bad and degrade her and subjugate her. So again, we're gonna do that tomorrow. We're gonna go to Jesus Breastfed. Thank you for your time, appreciate it.